one of the big challenges around around video uh, is understanding uh, which content which content ascribes to which owner. Um, and one of the reasons we don't have video measurement in this market as currency just yet uh, is because of that, of that key challenge. Um, I hear from many people that they would like to see market-based video metrics to measure some of the great video, online video content examples we've seen this morning. Uh, but there, uh, it's a challenge to measure the internet first of all and measuring video on the internet presents a, an extra level of challenge beyond that. As well as the, as well as the uh, current situation where uh, content, the same piece of video content can be showed across many different platforms, uh, identifying that through measurement um, and ascribing that to the right platform and then ultimately to the right owner is difficult. And that's for a lot of reasons, some of which are listed here, including the way that content is delivered uh, and the identifiers that different uh, services like Akamai and Limelight use when they deliver that content. Uh, and the wide range of media formats that the content is delivered in. Um, so while this stuff is pretty technical, these are some of the reasons it's taken us some time to work, uh, to work up an online video currency metric for the market. <clears throat> uh, some of you may be familiar with the Nielsen online rating suite uh, which we launched together with the IAB in October last year. Uh, the new video measurement that we're bringing to market fits right into the online rating suite with the other tools. It will sit alongside mobile, uh, which we have currently, and measures mobile traffic to M sites. It will also sit along, alongside the monthly hybrid data that measures uh, unique audience and other metrics to websites, uh, like time spent uh, and pages viewed. Um, and also the daily figures uh, and longer tail site figures that we report in online ratings through market intelligence uh, and give us metrics like average unique browsers, um, pages, page impressions, uh, and, other, and other engagement metrics. So some of you may have seen in recent weeks uh, in some of the trade press, particularly BNC and Ad News, uh, a release announcing video census which will, be, will become available next month in this market. The release shared some, uh, some interesting stats uh, we, have, we are collecting within the service already, um, some of which I'll, I'll share with you later in the presentation. Before I get to that, uh, a few words about the methodology. So how do we actually get the data uh, that feeds into the video census service? And why, why is that data the most robust available? In order to get the online video metrics in video census, we use the same uh, world-leading methodology that was launched last year in the monthly hybrid figures as part of online ratings. And that combines uh, panel measurement with census measurement. So panel measurement, or, or what's also sometimes called passive measurement, is based on the proven panel approach to measuring uh, TV and involves recruiting randomly households that are representative of the country and putting a piece of software we call a meter on their computer that records everything they do on their computer and all of their and all of their uh, all of the things they do online as well as as well as that so that gives us a really good representative basis to understand the Australian market uh, and how that the Australian market is interacting with online and online video. We then take that panel information and we look at that together with what we call census or active measurement relying on tags. Uh, the, beauty, the beauty of census measurement is that measures everything that happens uh, versus one of the limitations of panel measurement which is that we're using a sample so we don't, we don't see everything that happens in the market. With census measurement, the tags uh, on, a, on a page or within a video player will capture everything that happens. It will capture every view of that player. It will capture every piece of video content that's streamed through that player. Um, so we can see 
we can see by looking at the census measurement and the panel measurement together what is not included in the sample between the two and we can uh, come up with a combined figure that includes all of the all of the measurement across the market um, so apologies for the for the technical uh, explanation um, but I did want to spend a little bit of time explaining how this worked and it is uh, it is the best measurement of online video available anywhere in the world you might be a little interested in how people actually go about tagging their player and how that works uh, which is obviously a key a key way of getting to the hybrid methodology um, tagging simply means uh, inserting a short piece of code uh, in or around the video player. Um, that then causes the video player uh, to send back the information about, the, about when a user clicks on a video, uh, when it starts playing, um, how many times videos have been, have been looked at, uh, the type of frequency per, per cookie that we see there, and also important details like the program name, the video title, uh, where to credit the video, so whose figures should it go against when we're looking at reach or figures like unique audience or, or frequency, um, and if there is another client. So if it's being, if it's being shown on the 9MSN website, uh, we might report that, but will we also report the ultimate content owner, the person who produced the video? Just to give you a sneak peek before we launch this service, in December. This shows a very simple report from the interface. I apologize if it's a little small, um, but this shows some of the really useful metrics that will come out of the service. And this is a, a simple report I've run. I'm looking at a demographic of Australians uh, with income above $100,000 a year. Uh, so the, the, in this simple report, we see metrics like unique audience, uh, which is which is really important um, and a far more useful a useful metric to compare to TV for example when you're trying to build those those reach curves then say monthly unique browsers um, we can also look at how many streams uh, this particular demographic has viewed across across the different sites um, how many minutes people have spent time per person these type of these type of statistics so we can build up not only reach and frequency um, to look at our tarps. We can also uh, look, look beyond that to time spent and get a, get a sense of engagement between the different sites in this case uh, and ultimately uh, between different pieces of content and, and programming. Uh, so beyond that uh, simple example of a report, um, Video Census, because it, it uses the panel sample, the representative sample of Australians, We'll have full market coverage, uh, so you'll be able to, for the first time, see uh, see the complete picture of how Australians are viewing video online. Um, it, it, as I mentioned, it shows program level reporting. It uh, allows allows folks to look at audience overlap. Uh, so again, if you're trying to build reach, uh, this is a really important report to understand how you get to those people you haven't yet uh, shared your your online video content. Or advertisement with, um, and looking into some of the uh, specific data that's come from the September uh, information within Video Census, uh, we see uh, perhaps surprisingly that the 50 plus demographic is the biggest single demographic for viewing online video uh, online in Australia. Um, then followed closely by 35 to, to 49. So there's some interesting, interesting uh, insights that come out once we're able to look at uh, specific market-wide data for, for online video. I see males watch quite a bit more. So 63% of online video streams viewed were, were by males in Australia in September. And also, uh, we see that amongst time spent viewing online video, the 18 to 24 group uh, leads, leads the other demographics um, quite significantly. So whilst with the 50 plus group uh, were the largest single number of people viewing online video, we can see that if we delve further into the data that they, uh, they view quite a bit less on average than the 18 to 24 year olds. 
So that's a little bit of information about Video Census, uh, this, the service which is launching next month in, in Australia, and uh, we hope will help spur the growth of online video advertising uh, and help uh, people understand how that works better together with other medium. But we won't stop there. And, and working with um, the IAB in particular, we'll continue to work on extending the measurement of video um, beyond, beyond the browser-based players, beyond video viewed on, on PCs uh, and, through, and through browsers to apps uh, both on tablet and mobile, which is important. Um, it's, it does take time to get this in place uh, because we need uh, the panel to be built out for both tablet and mobile, which involves really new technology uh, anywhere in the world. So we have uh, at Nielsen launched a mobile and tablet panel in the US, um, which, which uh, is going well and we would like to bring to Australia. And that will start to open up the opportunity to measure uh, the videos view viewed through apps on those particular platforms. Uh, importantly, we've been talking, we've been talking uh, a lot about market-based metrics that will be used in planning, uh, in planning of campaigns. Uh, but the, the, other, the, other, the other part of the puzzle to fit in is post-campaign measurement. Uh, so looking at, okay, I planned my campaign really well. Did it actually reach uh, the people I intended it to reach? Um, and we're working on a service called Online Campaign Ratings, uh, which will come to Australia in the new year, which can actually report the specific demographics reached um, not only by any online video campaign, uh, but any campaign. And that'll be a, a really important part, on, I think, of assessing the, how well campaigns have, have worked uh, once they've been booked. And ultimately, that, of course, will be used across um, TV, PC, tablets, and, and smartphones.